Oh! <laughs> hey you all my people hey my people how is it going welcome back to another video so in today's video we're starting a brand new project this one we're gonna do some stone veneer yeah so we're gonna apply our, our uh, veneer stone over cement board bricks and scratch coat on this one project all that is coming up but before we jump into the video Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and on this channel we upload video twice three times a week concrete block interlock paver carpentry you name it all the goodies so subscribe be a part of the team okay so now we're gonna put our cement board let's clean our surface off So guys we're gonna use some inch and a half screws. We're gonna space the screw eight inches apart. Plumb line now. Just want to just screw them in place eight inches apart. Later on, we're gonna put our, we're gonna lock our scene and water through it that's coming up so stick around for that so now we're just gonna put one more here I like to draw my um, I like to plumb my line that way this way you know that your screw is going right in the center of the studs Better you um you get a plumb mark all the way down. That way you're sure that you have a perfect connect connection with the stuff on the inside. So guys we have a box here. So I'm gonna give you a little tip of how to, to mark your box out without having to take a whole bunch of measurements. So we're just gonna place it in place like this, hold it up. Come over and buck it. Hold on, hold on. Over a little bit. Hold it right there. No, 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 no. That's too much. Come up. Hold it right there. Okay, you only want to hold it in place. Find your back. Just tap around it. The idea is to get the box to print out on our on our, our, our board. As you see, as you see here, we have our, our mark. So now we're just gonna cut that out, and it should fit perfectly over our, over the back. You okay, that should fit perfect now, guys. Let's check. Let's, let's try and see. Open that here a little bit. Okay, hold it right there. So remember, we're gonna plumb down our line. Before we do that, we just push it up more. A little bit tilt up, a little bit more. Water. So I just mark my 13 and 5 eighths, 13 and 5 eighths, and I mark it across. Now I'm going to put it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay guys, so we're finished. We're finished to put our cement board. Now we're gonna we're gonna seal the joint, make it waterproof. As you see here, this uh, peanut butter mayonnaise consistency. I mix it and I have it sit here for around 10 minutes before I started to use it. I'll leave the name of the product that I'm using in, in the description. Okay guys, so we've installed our uh, cement board you now. So now we're gonna waterproof the joint. We're gonna put um, fabric mesh we have here. Same thing he use for the stucco whenever you you, you um you waterproof in your joint. First thing we're gonna just Behind a desk with a suit on, it's still a fucking shit job. No. Enjoy what you love to do. Enjoy the, the plumber always complains that I got it. Here. You get the best job in the world. It's true. How do I have five All they do is work with carpet, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's like they're in Greece or in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. You already passed. Okay, keep going on. Let alone now. Um guys I'm gonna wrap it up here now come back within a, a day or two and we should have the video where we started to um, to install the veneer stone I just want to give you guys a short video of how to set up your your um, cement board and how to waterproof it seal still have a long way to go I just don't want to join the video too long thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and give the video a thumbs up I appreciate that Peace out.